back to my channel. Long time no see everybody. I am Mandy with Brick Road Co. And I'm happy to be back with an unboxing video from Jomar Wholesale. So for those of you who are not aware of Jomar Wholesale, we'll talk a little bit about who they are and the box I got, and then we'll do an unboxing. So if you're new to my channel, um, I would love if you hit the... Wow, I am really rusted this. So if you're new around here, I am a reseller and upcycler slash Etsy maker. I also just started my own website, brickroadco.com. I make custom hey -do shoes as well as a variety of products, um, but I also still do reselling at times. So I wanted to do a Jomar unboxing. So before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I am hoping to get to a thousand followers over here to get monetized at some point in my life. So I'd love if you hit that subscribe button. If you hit the bell notifications, that will actually let you know every time I upload a new video. So I would love if you hit those bell notifications and the thumbs up if you like this content and want to see more. And as always, the best way to communicate with me on YouTube would be through the comment section. So please do reach out to me if you have any questions or comments or anything like that down below. And I went ahead and already ripped this open so we don't have to go through the weird process of opening the box. And this is a wholesale box from Jomar. I have an affiliate code that I will be linking down below and I will be putting here on the screen as well for you. So if you are interested in trying out a Jomar box, you can use that code for a discount. And without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into this or open this up and see what I've got. Okay, so I have cut open this box and I am ready to see. Ooh, that's cute. Look at that. What we've got inside. So, fold the brim. Let's get started. Now, this is supposed to be like Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue kind of things. Uh, most of which are supposed to be new with tags or past season items or returns. Ooh, this is cute. This feels like silk. Okay, so item number one is a Beck Plus Bridge made in Australia. Well, that might be why I haven't heard of it. A Beck Plus Bridge dress. It's in an Australian size six, a US two. It's polka dotted with really cute, like thick shoulder pads. Oh, if this was only my size. I love the asymmetrical hem at the top and then this ruching right here. And it definitely feels like it's silk. And then it's got like a cute little keyhole in the back, but I don't see a tag that indicates this one was necessarily new. So it may have been like a return, but it feels like silk. 100% silk! So I've not heard of that brand, but I'm assuming because it's silk, that will do well for me. So I will comp that and see what I get. Sandro Paris. I feel like this is maybe Bloomingdale's. This is a jacket. Wow, that's very nice though. So it's like a black tweed with what feels to be leather. There's a price tag here. $595 retail, Sandro Paris. I really like the little buttons with the pockets here. I'm checking the fabric content to see what fabric content. It is polyester, acrylic, wool, cotton, viscose, and sheepskin leather. So sheepskin leather trimming with a wool blend. Very nice quality. And gosh, if that one doesn't look like that's in my size, I love that. Sandro Paris there. Oh, this is cute. There's some eyelets. I love eyelets. That'll be good for summer. Okay, mage, mage, mage. G-E or J-E. I've seen this before, but I've never picked it up. So I'm going to be mad at myself if I discover that this is a good brand. But I love this eyelet dress. Wow, how cute is that? It's a size three, so I'm not sure if that's juniors. Um, doesn't really have a price because it's been scratched off. So I'll have to comp that. I really like that though. It's thick. It's got the cute little pom-pom kind of things at the bottom, but they're not pom-poms. They're like embroidered, so they're not going to fray. But this is beautiful. Gosh, that's gorgeous. I love the neckline. It's got a zipper closure on the side. Yeah, there's a side zip closure and these cute sleeves with the little buttons on the side. I love eyelets though. I think they're just like classic summer. They're just gorgeous. So okay, we've got some faux fur. Rachel Zoe, right? That's a good brand. And that's, you know, that's for winter, but it'll still go for a decent price. It says faux fur. It's super cute. It's got an interior pocket. It's like a creamy color with some black. Looks like it does have a little like hook loop closure kind of thing. So you can uh, close it at the top there. And it's a size medium, but I like that. 
very cute faux fur vest. Okay, this one's very pretty. This has got a unique look to it. So it is another Sandro Paris. Oh, this one says Bloomingdale's exclusives. 100% exclusives. So this is a Bloomingdale's overstock, which is cool because we don't have those here. Uh, $195 retail. So that's cool. And it's Sandra Paris and it is a size two. So let's see what it looks like here. Oh, wow. How cute is that? That is so cute. So it looks like it has a few um, deodorant stains on the front. Those are super easy to get off. Let's see if I can do that right here. Often you can rub it against each other on the fabric or, yeah, it's not working on this one, or against a, a terry cloth towel often will help get that off of there. The material content is cotton, polyester, metallic fiber, polyamide, acetate. So I should be able to rub that off with a terry cloth pretty easily to get that deodorant spot off there, but isn't that cute? Size small with someone's little deodorant stains on there. Ooh, I think I see a dust bag. I'm gonna skip whatever that is real quick and see what this is. Ooh, we have a dust bag, which means we have a purse of some sort. Sandro, again, Sandro Paris, which is like a shoe print on the dust bag, but. Ooh, this looks like leather. It's very heavy. Metallic chain there. There's a tag. Camel Unique Lou. So the name of the bag must be the Lou bag in camel and it retails for 345 and it is new. The flaws, I would see, um, there's a little bit of like, which that might come out right here where the metal rivets kind of must have been like smushed against it. There's a couple scuffs on the bag that I should be able to get out with leather cleaner. The interior's in beautiful shape. So yeah, it just looks like it had a little bit of maybe mistreatment. And this is definitely like in somewhat of a knot of some sort. So let's see if I can fix that. I'm slightly confused by this. Oh, this goes through here. Okay, there we go. Okay, small purse repair there, but I had to get that through, that little bar through the side. So that's cute. Looks like a little crossbody. Would actually go really nicely with the shirt, with the outfit I have on. Well, that's nice, nice little treat. So. Uh, 345 retail. So I'll probably let go of that one for about 100, maybe a little less if I can't get the scuffs out. That is nice. I'm happy about that. So far, this is, I think, a decent, decent situation here. All right, next is Sync Acept, which I've actually heard of. It also is like five and seven, is what it's supposed to mean, but it definitely was new with tags at some point. Body suit, this cute collar. That's a nice, like, choker kind of collar. Those are cute little sleeves. Looks like it's a thong. That's in like new without tags condition, I would say. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, I did get 10 items, so I got all 10. Next is Mage again. Original price, 155 knit Lorex T shirt in the color night. So it's like a see-through-y kind of shirt almost. And it is in a size one. So I'll have to look at their sizes if those are like juniors or not. And I've never even really heard of that brand. Like I said, I think I've seen it somewhere. And another one of those, Mage, Mage. They must be decent. This says 119 tilde in black, uh, 230 retail. And it's a, another bodysuit? Another, uh, it's a shirt. Okay, so it's a shirt with, oh, this will need repaired. So this is not, this is damaged right there, but it's a shirt and I actually love that sweetheart neckline. I might keep this. This is so freaking cute. It's got a nice sheer like sh uh, sheer sleeve with like a nice gathering there at the wrists. Again, 230 retail and it is a size one. It's so freaking cute though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll see. I like that one a lot. And last, be brown corduroy. <laughs> kidding oh they're free people okay we have some we the free corduroys i don't think these are new with tags i don't see any flaws so new without tags size 30 regular we'll see what the cut is on them these look like they must have been a return crotch looks okay all the tags are here that's good so i'll look up the 
numbers on it to see if I can find the style. Um, this one says imported for Urban Outfitters. 30 is a good size. Oh, it looks like they're like corduroy, raw, edge, wide leg pants. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, so again, this is the advanced CPR rescue box from Jomar Wholesale and I will be mostly just doing um, reselling with this. I might keep one or two of these as well, but I just kind of wanted to dabble with uh, another one of the wholesale companies because I've tried B&G before and I always like to try different ways of sourcing. So for new with tags items, I would say that this is a good, like I've got good brands here. I've got a lot of good brands, a lot of new with tags, and I just need to look up this M-A-G-E mage, but the rest of them are really good and all comp them and see what I get. But if you would like to try out Jomar Wholesale for yourself, please look down in the description below and I have an affiliate code for you that you can get a discount off your first purchase. So feel free to use that um, to save yourself a little bit of money if you're wanting to try this out for yourself and let me know how it goes. Um, and if you've had an experience with Jomar before, let me know in the comments what your experience was. I would love to hear all about it. And until then, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.